Nowadays, breeding games are a dime a dozen. You've got dragons, you've got monsters, even Cut the Rope gave it a try. But how many of those games allowed you to build an orchestra and create some of the greatest songs in mobile game history? Nobody mentioned the Muppets game, nobody mentioned the Muppets game! My Singing Monsters had it all. Fun and colorful monsters, catchy tunes, and sex! Somehow my favorite three things in the world are all in this one simple game! But I've always wondered something. Monsters like the Mammoth and Furcorn are pretty well known by now, but what about the rest of these freaks? Are there any good? And who's the best? Better yet, who is the absolute worst? Well, I'd like to finally answer that question today while we rank every My Singing Monsters monster. There is a lot to discuss with each one. Are they cool? Are they fun to look at? What are their interests? We could even look at their costumes if we feel like it. Most importantly though, what is their contribution to the song? I'll try my best to keep all this in mind for each monster. There's also 37 rare and epic versions of the normal monsters, and since I don't have much to discuss, I'll also rank each of them right after the normal forms. It'll make more sense once we start, I swear. That means our monsters for today are Mammoth, Noggin, Toejammer, Potbelly, Drumpler, Fwog, Ma, Shrub, Furcorn, Octopus, T-Rox, Pummel, Clamble, Bogart, Entbrat, Gast, Wubox, Sugarbush, Punkleton, Gajub, Talker, Parlsona, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, and T. The last thing I want to say before starting is that my personal island isn't very impressive. I barely played any of this game. So everyone give a warm welcome to Phantom for lending his island to me for some footage. Hi everyone, this is Phantom. I own the island that Jake Miller here uses in the video. Uh, it's great seeing y'all. You should subscribe to him. And yeah, see you. Whoa, I didn't actually expect him to show up. How'd he even get in here? Anyways, he literally let me sign into his Apple ID to record from his account. And if you know anything about how much access you have with someone's Apple ID, then you realize how much trust was given to me. And what do you know, I'm a trustworthy guy! Now that that's been settled, children, please enter your credit card information in the comments. I promise I'll be very trustworthy with your social security numbers. Now without further ado, let's find out which of these monsters have the best song, and which ones are freaks of nature and are morally and ethically wrong. I know that the noggin technically comes first, but come on. The mammoth is the face of the franchise. Just look at the thumbnail! Honestly, I have no idea why this guy out of all the monsters became the mascot. It's basically a Yeti Bigfoot hybrid, which isn't that interesting, but maybe his goofy little face has something to do with it. What I love most about him is by far his singing voice. That bum is so iconic, and you can't help but sing along with him. I love reading that he technically doesn't have a nose and shouldn't be able to hum. How dare the creators of this game not make scientifically accurate creatures! The mammoth does look great in the original game style, and it's funny to see them attempt to create him in any other style and just horribly fail. Never make 3D models of these characters, it can't go well. Typically the first guy I rank goes in like B and sometimes A, but no. The mammoth deserves nothing less than S tier. Our first rare is the rare mammoth, of course. They went for a blue fur coat and some horns on the side. Honestly, you look better in white, buddy. C tier. The epic version tried way too hard and now he just looks like a goat with four hands. Are rare and epic versions just monsters with birth defects? This is just weird. While I do associate the color purple with an epic rarity, that's really the only positive thing I can say about this one. D tier. The first monster you unlock in My Singing Monsters is, of course, the Noggin. Percussion is a crucial part of the band, so it makes sense to give us the bongo boy right out the gate. He sets the pace for the song, and his beats are pretty satisfying to listen to. Anyways, check out this actual freak of nature. Am I supposed to believe this thing is breeding with other monsters? A rock with nasty hands and feet is procreating? I hate that I just realized that there's probably rule 34 of this guy, and I refuse to ever look that shit up. Anyways, I am mostly joking. I like the idea of a sentient rock drummer boy. I was curious what I named him, and imagine my surprise when it turned out his name was Hepatitis B. I am really good at naming stuff. I don't love the noggin, but I don't mind putting him in B tier either. A rare noggin is almost unrecognizable from the normal one. A square with tusk is not what I expected, honestly. So far, I feel like they're trying way too hard. I keep preferring the normal ones. Let's put it in C. Dude, lay epic noggin? This one is so edgy that it's actually pretty cool. I especially love the jaw on this guy. This is the best extra version we've seen yet. A tier. They actually called me the toe jammer in high school. 
Yeah, let's just say I was jamming toes left and right. No biggie. Enough about foot fetishes though. We need to talk about the goopy jello who sprouted toes. I really wish this guy had become the mascot. This is truly what I've come to expect from classic My Singing Monsters designs. Based on the expression, doesn't look like the toe jammer is all there, but check out his singing voice. That's awesome, but uh, why does he have toes again? I kinda expected him to use his toes to make music, but he's just oohs and ahs instead. If anything, that just makes me like him more. Still not ready to say S tier quite yet, so you can go in A as well. Oh my god, what have they done to you? This thing is infected, and they just had to give it Chris Chan eyes, didn't they? I'm gonna put you out of your misery, buddy. F tier. See, now the epic version I can get behind. The more I look at this thing, the more awesome it gets. Looks like if Mike Wazowski and his girlfriend ever had a baby. I don't know about you guys, but personally, this thing has got to go in S tier. Man, I love me a good pot belly. Meaning, uh, meaning the character, obviously. Whatever you do, editor, don't leak my photo album. Wait a second, I'm the editor. Well, that's a relief, that was a close one. The pot belly gets two mouths instead of one, allowing for a little harmonizing in their singing. As the very distant cousin of the pea shooter, this piranha plant wannabe is very classic to my singing monsters. The design is pretty simple, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I felt like I needed to buy a costume for this video, so everyone take a nice long look at the pot belly on top of a fishbowl. Man, this video would have sucked if I hadn't bought that costume. I think they would look quite nice in B tier. The rare version appropriately has three heads, which is awesome, but there's so much more to this guy. Who cares about the braces? Check out those rock hard abs! Now that's what I call pop bellies. Looks weird though, C tier. The epic one is a straight up dragon in a castle. That really is epic. I like this one just a little more than the original, so let's give it a low A tier. Wait, now I'm confused. I thought the other guy was a pop belly. Well, at least I got another pick to add in my collection, if you catch my drift. He even beats his little belly like a drum! The snare drum really helps add some flair to the song we've built up so far. This is probably the most boring monster yet though. He's still pretty derpy, but it's just some guy. This is just a dude. Holding drumsticks, no less. His lifeguard outfit is my favorite costume of his, just because I feel like he should be wearing pants. I like a lot of the Plant Island monsters, so Sally the Drumper is going down to D tier. What am I even supposed to say about this thing? He was so embarrassed about his receding hairline, he grew extra pairs of eyes rather than more hair. This is the premium character? Worst one yet, F tier. There we go, the epic one is much more fun. Looks like a poison werewolf or something. I especially like his eyes. I still say that's probably a B tier. Oh, it's just a widow fog. No, not fog, fog, fog. Never mind, freak the freak off. Other than the webbed feet, this thing basically has nothing to do with an actual frog. This is the first one that really feels like they used a character creator or something. Crystals on its head, three eyes, massive lips, and frog feet? You can't help but love this guy, but still, not sure about this one. That is, until you hear its singing abilities. The song is finally starting to get good people. The melody was serviceable, but the little flair the frog adds is what we really need to take it up a notch. I'm thinking A tier. And then we get the freaking rare frog. Missed opportunity called a whale frog, by the way. This thing has more character creator vibes than the first one. Adding a nose was a horrible idea, guys. And the feet? Disgusting! F tier. This thing has no right to even be called a frog. It lost the frog feet. That was the one thing you had going for you. I'm glad I never got this guy in my game. F tier for you too. Talk about simplifying a design, huh? A monster that sings? All it really needs is a mouth. I have virtually no complaints about the mob people. How could I? The color scheme is perfect. Its fuzzy warty body would be amazing to snuggle with. Its animations are all adorable. Even when it's sleeping it gets to do something. And how could we forget? Out of the original group of monsters you unlock, there is no doubt in my mind that the maw is my favorite. S tier. I swear to god if you mess up the other maws, I'm gonna FREAK! Well, considering I had some gems to spend on a few rare monsters before making this video, and I chose the rare maw to be one of them, I'm guessing you know my opinion on them. 
The black color switch up is just too perfect, and the devil horns are pretty fun. It's crazy I hadn't even noticed it had eyes. It just worked so perfectly for him I hadn't given it a second thought. You can go in S tier too. Every family has the ugly child, and unfortunately for the epic maw, its siblings are freaking gorgeous. Other than the gorilla nose and barnacles, I really don't hate the guy. It's a much spikier maw, and that's fun, but the blue color scheme is pretty weak compared to the others. That's a C tier. You know, I could really go for some beatboxing right now. Right on cue, shrub. This guy is crazy tall, but for some reason he's always crouching. I guess beatboxing only works in a specific position. There is some crazy promotional art of this thing standing, and I was surprised how weirdly uncanny it is. If you only ever saw someone squatting and they suddenly stood up, that'd be pretty freaking scary. I've never been a huge fan of the shrub myself. I think it heard I had a crush on the Conan zombie from PVZ. Check out this costume. Coincidence? I think not! You tried your best shrub, but it just wasn't good enough. D tier. I don't even know what to say about the rare one. You're blue now? Daba dee daba die? Good for you! This doesn't make your design any better though, buddy. D tier. There you go, you tried something different. I'm generally a little creeped out by the epic shrub, but in a good way. I feel like these socks really dock at some points. As the toe jammer, I am extremely disappointed, but otherwise it's the best of the shrubs. B tier. I've always thought of Furcorn as the secondary mascot to the series, but I've never actually took a second to look at this thing. A little fluff ball with veiny feet and a single branch sticking out the top. For some reason this made me want to see Halloween costumes of this thing, and some are actually pretty cool. But then there's just this one. If one of my subscribers doesn't wear that this year, I'm going to be very disappointed. Anyways, I'd argue this is the first monster to not really make, uh, quote unquote, music. If someone on the subway was making that sound, you would not start dancing to it, I promise you. Still, after all that, we love the fur corn. Why? Look at him! Alright, you caught me, I have no idea why. We just love them, okay? A tier. Aw, oh, the rare fur corn is really cute. I have no idea if these have set genders or something, but it's safe to say this one is meant to be feminine, I think. A barbification of the fur corn turned out good. Let's just put it in A too. I was gonna make the joke that the epic fur corn is for all the non-binary fans out there, but uh, I don't want to be mean to non-binary people. I like the blue, I do, but this thing doesn't have a single horn anymore, meaning this is more of a fur deer than a fur corn. I'm thinking C tier. The octopus is actual nightmare fuel. It reminds me of those trees with so many knots and bends in it that it looks like a face. The eyes on this thing are really what makes this thing so horrifying, but just because it's creepy doesn't make it bad. Besides, the shoo do a do is a pretty memorable aspect of the song here. I truly can't help but sing along with it, which is really weird because, again, if some old guy was singing shoo do a do in a raspy voice in the subway, you definitely wouldn't join in. It's all the endearing, but not overly so, I'd say. You don't even have eight tentacles, liar! I'm putting the octopus in C tier. I have never been more shocked after clicking on an image before. What the actual freak is this thing? They did not give the octopus creepy arms and pigtails. What is this even meant to convey? It's not horrible, just really, really weird. D tier. Okay, you can only shock me so many times. I cannot believe either of these designs are even real. It almost looks like a Karen haircut or something. This one is weird in a bad way, actually. F tier. I'm a simple man, really. I was brutally conditioned as a child to love dinosaurs by being forced to play with dino toys and have fun with them and eat dino-shaped chicken nuggets, and it was horrible! But it made me who I am today, and I'm a stronger man because of it. I'm proud to have made it through such a difficult part of my life. And if I remember anything from that torture, is that T-Rexes are awesome! And they absolutely nailed the T-Rox here. He's cool and cute! He sounds cool with an electric drum. And if you hate the T-Rox, then you must have learned nothing from the brainwashing we all had as children. Dinosaurs are the best creatures to ever run the Earth! Now let's respect our elders and give this thing the S tier it deserves! I really got my hopes up for the rare T-Rox, but man, that dark blue just does not work. Sorry buddy, that's a C tier. The epic is genuinely unrecognizable as a T-Rox, but I kinda like it. Nothing else has attempted a futuristic theme, and it kinda fits the electric drones better than the original design did. I still love the original war, so it goes an A. 
From a design standpoint, the pummel is highly underrated. A shark who looks like they swallowed a polyworld from Pokemon and uses it as a drum? It doesn't sound cool, but it is! Every good song needs a bass drum anyways. More like bass drum, cause it's a shark? Look, writing scripts is really hard, people. I'm really trying here. The pummel is really fun, and I think they're underrated, personally. I feel like I've been giving out a lot of A's, so let's give out even more. I like that they went for a red color for its rare form, but come on, guys. Two fins, six arms. You didn't even try to think of something cool. You just made more of what we already had. D tier. Okay, you didn't have to go that hard on the epic one. This is by far the best epic monster we've seen today. I love literally every single change they've made. A hammerhead shark? That's genius! How can you not give that S tier, dude? All right, you know they've lost it when they have a monster who makes cymbal sounds. And it's literally just a cymbal. It actually looks like they just gave up with the design. How pathetic. Nothing else to say, really. Time to get in. Stop! Wait, what? Why are you still here? Oh, I forgot my keys. Also, Clamble deserves S tier. Do you know how hard he works? He makes his own clothes, armor, and instrument. Even his rare and epic versions are evolved to make the most out of their unique anatomy. He works a 9 to 5 on the symbol making business, and don't even for a second think that because he plays so infrequently that he's bad. He's a skilled and amazing monster who deserves nothing short of S tier! Personally, I was gonna slap the thing in D tier and never look back, but you can't argue with the special guest, huh? Maybe the more rare clambos have a bit more to offer. Well, at least now I'm allowed to say D tier. The epic clambo is a little more crabby with a spiky four-eyed head. This one's pretty fun, I'd say. Let's put it in B. I've never had very strong opinions about the Bogart. Should I have strong opinions? He's kind of just a guy. But I've been looking at tier lists of the monsters just to see other people's takes, and every single time, the Bogart is at the top. I actually started to freak out a little bit. There are even lists with the tier of only Bogart at the top. What's worse is people just say, Bogart is the best. No one can tell me otherwise. What are you even talking about? From now on in my videos, I should just say, this one's B tier, no one can tell me otherwise. Next is C, no one can tell me otherwise. Now D, don't tell me otherwise. And this one is F and I swear to God if you try to tell me otherwise. Anyways, if you love the Bogart, you gotta give me an actual reason in the comments, please. I must say though, the love for Bogart has forced me to give him a second look. I really, really love the detail of its horns being the same as the cello. And speaking of the cello, as our first string intimate, it adds a lot to the melody. There really is a lot to love about the Bogart, but I really can't say I find it S worthy. Again, I really need to hear some comments for the guy. For now, let's give him an A. Somehow the rare Bogart is the only one I unlock organically. Literally the only one. And of course, it's probably the most basic rare version we've seen yet. It's really no better or worse than the original, I'd say. I like some of the additions and dislike others. I'd say B for this boy. I haven't really gotten to the lore for any others. Babe, please stop. I don't want to know the My Sea Monsters lore. So in the first game, My Sea Monsters, there are five main natural elements. Cold, plant, water, and earth. But I was really confused by this gif of the Bogart standing in ice cream and becoming an epic one. And apparently that's all it takes. Somehow standing in ice cream makes this look like this. You might want to stay away from ice cream, buddy. F tier. You certainly are a brat, stupid ant brat. Everyone's out here making angelic music and you barge in at the end just to do this? It's much more accurate to how I expect monster music to sound. But yeah, after hearing everyone else's contribution, I am pretty annoyed to listen to this guy. He has spoiled toddler energy, just screaming for attention, to be part of the group. I'm glad they acknowledge your brat at least, but it does not excuse it. D tier. Cool fun fact I know people in the comments will be very disappointed that I beat them to, is that the ant brats all represent a different season. The rare one is for fall, and that's very fun. Still D tier though. Oh my god! What have they done to you, poor guy? I was on board with the season thing, but I'm just imagining that scene from Monsters, Inc. where he's covered in fur one minute and shaved like a naked mole rat the next. I pity you, but you're still getting the up tier you deserve. I remember trying to breed a gas for a long time while I still played the game, and a week before recording this video, I just randomly selected a couple monsters to hatch something, and what do you know, a freaking gas popped out. 
I am pretty happy I was actually able to get one of these things. He's like a ghost salamander with floating orbs that make electronic keyboard sounds. Okay, that sounded a bit more coherent in my head. But he's still awesome, okay? The look they gave him generally fits the electronic keyboard theme, much better than the T-Rox. Those crazy eyes of his are basically what I looked like when I locked him, and I was just as pumped then as I am now. S tier. Another rare where they do nothing more than duplicate their features and change the color. I love the gas, but this makes me the opposite of gassed up. B tier. Seems like every time they disappoint me with the rare, they blow me away with the epic. I honestly can't tell what this thing is, but it's definitely demonic, and the visible bones are a really nice touch. That's gotta be S tier too. Wobboxes were completely foreign to me before making this video. I probably didn't even pronounce their name right. I played my singing monsters before it was cool, I guess. I think we should start their ranking by listening to them a little bit. Now, just to be 100% honest, when I first heard them, I immediately hated them and started screaming and pissing and coming and it was a crazy experience, but then I calmed down and I started to do a little digging. I am certainly not alone, I've seen a lot of slander for these things. The main sentiment is that they overpower the song. I love this song, and I can't lie, I think the wallboxes ruin it. I've listened to the other islands and I don't like them there either. But I also know people really like the wallboxes. Man, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, I just want to say if you love the wallboxes, I totally respect it. From a design and animation standpoint, they're really fun to watch. But just personally, I really, really do not like them. On my list, they go an F. And if you totally disagree, I hope you at least understand why. The rare wall box is made of instruments with a keyboard arms and a record player belly. Can't change my mind though, buddy. F tier. Well, at least they tried making wall box with the Plant Island theme. But even if I like the sounds it made, this thing is pretty dog dookie. Join your wall box brethren in F tier. I was about to complain that this is our second bush themed monster, but it is on Plant Island, so I really can't complain too much. This one, more than any other, is straight up a man pretending he fits in, but somehow being too normal is abnormal in my scene monsters. And not sure how I'm only finding out about this now, but it's based on a real person Christian Bush. That makes so much more sense now. I'm an idiot. Anyways, I hate you Bushhead, and I hope you drown! I truly hate looking at this guy. I hate when he says, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, he actually sounds so lame. Anyways, what I'm getting at is, you better hope your mandolin sounds good. I mean, it's fine, but stop saying yeah, 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 yeah. I hate you. I hate you. Out there. Plant Island has just one seasonal monster, and that is none other than the Punkleton. Everyone loves a good Halloween event, and to get a whole new character from it is an awesome incentive. His pumpkin head grafted on a skeleton body definitely fits the season, and it's funny that the egg is literally just a pumpkin. I don't think people are too fond of his singing though. Let's take a listen. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Never thought Ooga Booga could be used in a song like this. I think the more islands you have him on, the more sale it gets, but we're only on Plant Island. And I think he's fairly fun. B tier. I don't even know what happened to the rare one. I'm assuming the pumpkin started to go bad, as you can see some of his gut sticking out at the top. It makes sense to cover up with a bag, but also the bag sucks compared to the pumpkin. And he has a heart now? Well, I still don't. D tier. The pumpkin was replaced with a melon, which is smart, but now he's some gentleman or something? The face is pretty creepy, but I'm still not a fan of this one. C tier. Everybody loves walruses, right? Well, apparently some people don't like the kajoo. But why? Bassoon tusks? That's genius! You're trying to tell me you don't like the sound of a bassoon? Don't even kid yourself, you love it. I think the kajoo is pretty fun. I'm honestly not really sure why you'd ever hate this guy. Looks fun, sounds good. What more is there to want? I'll hedge my bets with an A tier. For some reason, the Gajub only has a rare, no epic. Maybe someday he'll get one, but for now, here's all we have. Like I said, hopefully one day there will be an epic. C tier. These last three monsters are one of a kind, no rares or epics in sight. Does that make them better or basic? They are certainly not basic, but I wouldn't say they're better either. The lyricless songs of My Singing Monsters have always been super charming. Sure, there's some Ooga Boogas and Shuaua in there, 
but full on English? They sleep when it gets cold And the leaves turn They turn red and they turn gold They need sunlight and water and earth in the air To keep them alive That's how plants grow of course, you don't have to use these monsters if you don't like it, but I honestly don't. The gimmick is fun. I was somewhat curious to hear what the lyrics would be, but now that I've heard them, can't say I'm a fan. Also, this design is just strange, I feel. Not sure what I would've wanted, but this isn't it. D tier. Well, what do you know? The talker obviously needed a duet partner. A note becomes a chord, becomes a phrase, becomes a melody and a note a monster. The female part is honestly a little more enjoyable to listen to, I feel. But the design is so much worse. I can't lie, their parts are starting to get stuck in my head a bit. I don't actually mind the lyrics themselves, or how they sound on their own. It's more so that I prefer the Plant Island theme without them, that's all. Why couldn't we just have Spongebob and Mr. Krabs in here? That would have been so much better! This kitchen's not the same. I'm SpongeBob. It's weird to have one of these monsters without the other. They sound best together. So how dare I keep them apart, right? D tier. A bit of a weird one to end on, but last on our list for today is the group of misfit diglets known as Do Re Mi Fa Sol La and T. And yes, I refuse to say their names without singing them. Deal with it. These guys are only available in the shop, and they each play their given note in a song. Seeing them poke their heads out of the ground each time is pretty great, actually. It sucks if you only got one, but to have the whole collection really makes them shine. Anyways, I'll be ranking them as one entity. I think it'd be weird to put like La in S and Ray in F or something. But let's still go through them each anyways. Doe is a blue boy with an onion topper. He's got layers alright. Ray is a straight up carrot. He's lucky Entbrett hasn't gotten hungry and went for a snack yet. Fa is a... pine cone? Some rocks? It's unclear, but I like the gray color scheme. Soul is grassy and yellow, which fits for the sunny theme their name has. La is a mushroom, and its tiny eyes make it much more menace looking. Lastly, T is just pink with a flower. Probably the most underwhelming part of the dipsters. I don't think people like them very much, but I actually really enjoy their addition to the song. Altogether, they make their own little harmonies, and it's just fun to listen to. Certainly not the best of the best, their designs are pretty simple, but let's give them a solid C. Most character-based games are solely based on how cool or fun-looking their monsters are. Your only incentive to unlock them is because you like unlocking stuff. But building a chorus is so, so cool, and it makes My Singing Monsters one of the most unique mobile games out there. It's generally impressive how many unique songs they made over the past decade, and while Plant Islands will always be the best in my heart, they are all pretty amazing. Each character on their own has a bit of charm, but your incentive to unlock them all is, you get a complete song. With nearly every monster, the song gets better and better. I'm certainly no master of music, but even a noob like me can appreciate that. I really wish the actual game part of My Singing Monsters wasn't just watching your clock, but I will still always love this game. Let me know who your favorite monsters are, even ones that aren't on Plant Island. It's about time I start educating myself on the rest of these freaks. Don't forget to join my Patreon to make this tier list and see my videos early. Time to give my channel members their monster sonas, and if you'd like to be a freak of nature, then please consider becoming a member of the channel today. Thank you Groth One Finger, Cobalt Chrome E, Patrick Byerjan, Honamaki, Bright Streak, Emni Switchy, Gall Guy, Dolphin Rider H2O, Dojo Master, Omegon, Kristoff Creations, Generic Toho Fan, Pez Dispenser, Eduardo Santiago, It's Me Ali, Jasper TV, Keep, and Jaxie Plays. Daisy's back! Daisy's back! I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I haven't wanted a video like this to do well more than I do right now. The monsters only get more insane as the game goes on, and Cold Island's editions are almost as classic as the originals. Please, dear lord, let me make a part 2 to this. I honestly might just do it for funsies. But seriously, if we can get to look at some of the recent additions someday, the monsters are actually insane now. Look at this thing! This one's my monster, Sona, so back off! One did not appear with significant age, still looking very young despite living just as long as her peers. Further evidence that Galvana is by far the most powerful is that Wobox, the main electric monster, is said to have been created by Galvana. Meaning prior to creating Wobox, Galvana may have been the only electric monster, being so much more powerful than any monster before it. Even the Weblins, the only other electric monsters, were